I'm Hector Ruiz, author of Slingshot and currently a high-tech entrepreneur. You know, I wish there were more people that are referred to as underrepresented in this country, or minorities, I call, uh, in positions of leadership in business. Uh, when you look at the size of the population, there seems to be a discrepancy between the size of those underrepresented people and those people that are in positions of leadership in, in industry, in business. And, that thing, and there are a number of things. Uh, and some of them are very natural. That is, the pipeline is not full of people that can step into those roles. But then you ask, well, why is that? Well, the pipeline is not full of people because people have not embraced the education, the preparedness that is necessary to be able to be part of the pipeline. And you know why is that? The, the reason for that is that, uh, generally speaking, uh, these people don't get the opportunity to have equal access to equal quality of education. And as a result, you begin to form a weakness in the pipeline that is very difficult to address. So the attempts in the past 20, 30 years have been to try to address that pipeline at the end. And that's a little bit too late. So I think what I believe is we have to take a long-term view of it, not a short-term view of it. And that is we have to start by recognizing that we have to give those children that are five years old today the opportunity to start at the same place as everybody. And as they move up in the educational chain, that they don't get behind. And that they are able to have equal access to education, equal access to quality education, and affordable. And we have to find ways in which we could do that. It's not only a moral imperative, it frankly is a necessity for our country to be able to do that. When you have, if you talk about Latinos only, if when you have over 50 million Latinos in this country, you want them to be educated, you want them to be prepared to be part of the economic system of, in this country and to be able to contribute uh, as members of society. And so we have to see that as the responsibility of us as a country to make sure that we are filling the pipeline properly all the way through. I'm personally committed to that. As a matter of fact, the net proceeds of Slingshot are gonna go to create a scholarship for students in need at the University of Texas. I'm personally involved on the board of an organization called Breakthrough, whose uh, main thrust is to grab kids in the fourth grade and be able to stay with them. These are kids at risk and stay with them until they finish college. Uh, I'm involved with trying to bring arts to the schools where uh, underrepresented minorities attend because one of the things that has happened through the budget cycles if we've got arts out of the equation and frankly I believe that one of the things that makes a whole leader is to be able to have a, bre a breadth of exposure not only to math and science but to also arts. A lot of people say that STEM really should be called STEAM because you got to stick the A in there for arts. And so I'm, I'm involved with that, and, and, and I've welcomed the opportunity to do everything I can to participate and speak to groups of people to make sure that they understand, particularly those in positions of leadership, how critical it is that we address the needs of these underrepresented groups so that our country is stronger, our country becomes better at being able to create the necessary uh, growth in the population that's educated and prepared to take advantage of all these transformational opportunities we're going to see in technology coming down the pipeline.